Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge failed to appear before the Parliamentary Committee on Implementation to explain delays in submitting regulations of the Finance Act 2018 that introduced stringent conditions for bank transactions worth a million shillings or more. Dr. Njoroge, who was expected to brief members of the committee on the status of the regulations, did not show up to the disappointment of the legislators. Nonetheless, the central bank governor sent a letter informing the committee that he needed more time to draft the regulations. In this regard, we are also consulting with the Departmental Committee on, on, on uh, Delegated Legislation. And in, light, in light of these foregoing consultations, we are unable to meet the deadline for appearance before the Committee on Implementation scheduled for Tuesday, March 12. 2019. The committee's chair, Motalel Olekenta, gave the central bank governor a fortnight to submit the regulations. If within the two weeks that we have given, the governor has not carried out what he's supposed to do by law and what he has actually promised or undertaken to do before this committee through this letter, then I can, and in my comparison of my colleagues, say that we are going to call for the sanctioning of the governor of Central Bank. Legislators accused the Central Bank governor of disregarding parliamentary processes, noting that similar concerns had also been raised by the Finance Committee of the National Assembly. Colleagues say that we are going to call for the sanctioning of the governor of Central Bank. And that is what we are permitted by law. This is a committee that is supposed to sanction any minister, any public official, who does not carry out what he's supposed to do by law. Because I think the best thing for anybody to do is to resign if they think that they cannot actually implement the law, because they are supposed to implement the law. The MPs expressed their concerns about new conditions on bank transactions worth one million shillings or more, noting that it was an obstacle to economic development. Somebody's money, as long as it does not come from a criminal activity. Yeah. I think they should not be harassed like that. Secondly, what is even asking most Kenyans is that he says that uh, only a fraction of Kenyan people or have more than a million or a million in the account. But he forgets one thing. The ones with the one million and more are the ones who are employing the ones without the, the million. Yes. As we hear outside, so many people are now keeping money uh, in the houses instead of the banks. That's why he's uh, coming up with very few people having millions. People have been keeping money. We want to keep money in the bank. But if I'm told I can't withdraw one million, then I'll keep my one million in the, in, in, uh, under a mattress. In June last year, the central bank published regulations informing banks that customers seeking to withdraw or deposit more than 999,999 shillings would need to submit a three-day notification about the transaction. Brian Itava, Channel One Business.